right, hi friends. Welcome back to your daily sadhana. My name is Hannah. This is my third time joining you all today, or not today, this is my third time joining in general in this space and I'm really happy to be back. Um, we're working through a practice that involves some really flowy movement, um, takes up a lot of space. So just make sure that there is a full mat's distance in the area that you're practicing in today. Um, it's all about taking up space. There's some times in our lives where we feel like it's been a struggle to take up space or like we haven't been allowed to take up space and um, just know there's room, there's room for all of us. And so um, on your mat today, there's some big arm movements. There's some flows and drills that we'll do to help us kind of get used to using our body to the fullest potential. And um, we'll also do a little bit of work to um, intentionally zoom into our different senses and with that being said, let's start out in a seated position. You can sit down however you're comfortable. I'm going to sit and cross my legs just in Sukhasana easy seat. Um, ground down your sits bones. Maybe sit onto a pillow or a block if that's comfortable. And in order to set everything down and get ourselves into the headspace of our practice, tuning in, really um, zooming in, if you will, we'll do a bit of a sensory meditation. From your seated position, bring your hands onto your knees or your thighs. Sit tall in your spine. And close your eyes to start. Start to draw more awareness to your breath. Notice your inhales. Feel your exhales. Continue to breathe. If you have a phone or a screen other than the one that you're watching this practice on in your space, maybe intentionally set it off to the side, put it on do not disturb if you're in a position to do so. I know it's a privilege to really be able, be able to unplug these days, but if you're able to, I would encourage you to do so. Continue to breathe deeply in through your nose and gentle breaths out. And blink your eyes open, but keep your gaze in your general vicinity. So avoid looking really far off in the distance. Continue to breathe here. And first, I would like you to pick out five things that you can see in your space. Five things that you can see. And I'll be doing this practice alongside you. Sometimes it helps to say these things out loud too. After you've set your sight on five things that you can see, come back to your breath. Notice four things that you can hear, four things that you can hear. You're welcome to close your eyes right now. And you don't have to know what every sound is, right? You just acknowledge the various sounds that you hear around in your space. Four things you can hear. Maybe they're off in the distance. Maybe they're right at your belly with your breath. And from here, notice three things you can feel. It doesn't have to be with your hands, with your fingers, but tap into the touch sense. So notice what your feet are touching. Notice what your hands are touching. Maybe what your tailbone is touching or the hair on the back of your neck, something like that. Just notice three things that you can feel. And shift your awareness to two things that you can smell. This one's the, kind of the hardest one for me. Um, we really don't often acknowledge the sense of smell unless we're like smelling something bad or smelling someone's cooking. So notice like the subtle little things in the air that you can smell. They don't have to have a name. You don't have to identify what they are. Just become aware of them. And lastly, bring your awareness to one thing that you can taste. 
one thing that you can taste. And then blink your eyes open. Sit up nice and tall in your spine. Go ahead and if your legs are crossed, switch the cross in your legs. Cross opposite foot in front. And then kind of wiggle and scooch around to make sure that your sits bones are really grounded. And we'll start to warm up our wrists. So bring your hands together to touch at your heart. Then interlace all of your fingers and just start to draw some little circles around with your hands. Make these movements really small. Again, we're kind of zooming into sensation here. So zoom into what you feel in your wrist joints. Zoom into what you feel between your palms. Squeeze your palms together and then squeeze the fingers together more. You can draw little figure eights with your knuckles to stretch out your wrist joints. Bring your backs of your hands together to touch. Your fingers will point down. And then press your palms together gently to stretch the back of your wrists. Breathe into the sensation. My hope is that even just for a moment in practice today, everything falls away. Everything but you falls away. You feel compelled to take up space because you are the one in this space, right? You're the one that's right here right now. And bring your hands together at your heart center, Anjali Mudra. We'll take one big breath together before we start to move a bit more. Take an inhale through your nose, fill your belly all the way up. Notice the expansion in your lungs. Open mouth, sigh, really heavy exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Reach both arms over your head from your seated position. Take an inhale. Exhale, gentle twist over to the right. Bring your left hand to the top of your right knee. Bring your right hand behind you and gently guide yourself into a deeper twist. Anchor down through both sits bones. Maybe gaze past your right shoulder. Bring it back through center. Inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand comes to your left knee. Plant your left hand behind you. Sit up tall in your spine and root your sits bones down into the ground. Lift up through the crown of your head before you set your gaze past your left shoulder. Mm. Inhale through center, reach up high. And then exhale, pivot if you're not already facing the front of your mat the long way. We'll sit back into boat pose. So find boat pose, Navasana, rock back onto your sits bones, bring your ankles in line with your shins, your shins in line with your knees, and hands come to your heart center, or you're welcome to bring your hands out long in front of you. Lift up through your chest, scoop your tailbone underneath you to find strength in your core. Relax your shoulders and lift up through the crown of your head. We hold for four, keep breathing for three, for two, one, rock it back. And rock it forward, avoid letting your heels touch at the top, land back in boat pose. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, rock forward. We'll take this three more times and we'll land in a forward fold, however you'd like to get there. Start to let your feet plant down as you rock back and forth. Gain the momentum. I always like to cross my ankles, cross the ankles, stand it up. Forward fold, ragdoll variation. Spread your feet, hips width distance or wider apart. Grab for opposite elbows or interlace your hands behind the nape of your neck and sway your upper body from side to side. Now, if your mind starts to wander away from the space, I know how challenging it can be to focus at a home practice when you're not in a studio and there's no one else around to hold you accountable. So if your mind starts to wander, that's okay. You can let it wander a little bit and then maybe try on zooming back into your senses, what you feel, what you smell, what you see, what you hear, even what you taste. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands down. Toe heel your feet a comfortable distance apart, maybe to touch. Tuck your chin to your chest. Unroll your spine one vertebra at a time. And inhale. Urdhva Hastasana. Extend your arms over your head. Bring your palms together to touch over your head. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Breathe and lift your gaze. Exhale, tricep stretch. With your palms touching, tap your thumbs to the back of your neck. Allow your ribs to flare forward. Pull your low belly into your spine and then press down through your feet so much so that your glutes activate. Inhale, re-extend your arms over your head. Maybe your palms continue to touch or separate them apart. 
and exhale forward, fold, bring your hands through heart center, hinge at your hips. Reset your spine with a halfway lift, inhale, bring your hands to your shins, lengthen your spine forward, hug your elbows together behind you like cricket wings, and then pull belly button to spine that whole time. Keep your Uddiyana Bandha, your abdominal lock, breathe and gaze up forward, exhale, plank pose, plant your hands, step your feet back to the back of your mat. The first plank pose. So we've activated our core a little bit in boat pose, even in mountain pose. We'll take a few hovering to lifts with the knees. So on your inhale, hover your knees about an inch away from your space. Keep pushing into your palms. Exhale, straighten your knees back out. Inhale, hover. Exhale, straighten and lift. Two more times, inhale, hover. Exhale, lift. One more, inhale, hover for three, two, one. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Once you're on your belly, we'll take three rounds of rolling cobra pose to help find the energy. Plant down through the tops of your feet. Walk your thumbs back a bit. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest. Lift your chest using the strength in your spine. Dig your hip points down into the mat. Really hug your glutes together. Take a breath in, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower it back down. Plant your hands right underneath your shoulders. Flip the balls of your feet down onto the mat. Inhale, plank or tabletop. Press into your palms. Lift all the way up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. First down dog. Feel it out. Zoom into sensation. Notice the sensation through the back of your legs. Notice the sensation in your shoulders. And if there's any negative sensation, so I don't mean like um, stretching or strengthening, but if there's any negative sensation, like your wrists feel really heavy or your shoulders are feeling really sore, adjust slightly. Just explore this shape. You can bend your knees. You can scoop your hips higher. You can shift your chest back towards your thighs to find more opening. And as you start to settle into the shape that works for you, breathe here in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward to the top of your space, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Forward fold, lift your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep your arms high over your head, palms come together to touch. Exhale, tricep stretch, top thumbs to the back of your neck. Inhale, rise and lift, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plank pose to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower halfway down, hug your elbows in, grip the mat with your hands. Inhale, upward facing dog, pull your chest through your shoulders. Press down through the tops of your feet so much so that your uh, thighs, that's what I'm looking for, that your thighs stay lifted off of the ground. Your gaze is neutral forward. Take a breath in here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Inhale, look forward. Bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, tricep stretch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank, flow it out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, pounce to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, Urdhva Hasasana. Reach your arms high. Exhale, tricep stretch. Inhale, lift. Reach your arms over your head. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, maybe you hop it back with bent elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here. Catch your breath. Zoom in for just a moment to notice how you feel. Oftentimes, we can't even really say how we feel. A lot of times when I'm asked how I feel, I, I want to say, I don't know. 
I don't know. But we can notice, right? We can notice. We can become more aware without having to use words. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Come into crouching down dog. So bring your big toes to touch. Bend into your knees. Your knees will kind of frame your ribs and set your hips low. Look up between your thumbs. Inhale. And then exhale, twisted cheeta with your right knee. Tap your right knee in towards your right el left elbow, rather. Pause here. Lift your right knee a little higher. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lengthen your right leg high. Point and flex through your toes a few times just for this first set. And then breathe and lift your heel a little higher. Point your toes. Exhale, scorpion dog. Bring your right heel towards your left hip. Open your hip out. Drop your right shoulder in line with your left shoulder. Your shoulders stay squared. And then take an inhale. Exhale, start to flip over. Lower your hips so they're hovering away from the mat. Your left hand is planted. Inhale, wild thing. Press down through your left hand. Lift your hips. Your right arm sweeps up and back behind you. And then exhale, start to plant your right hand next to your left like you're coming into plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, lengthen your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot between your hands. Stay lifted off of your back knee. Set up here. Check in that your right knee is stacked on top of your right ankle. Spike your back heel towards the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are. And then inhale, rise up to crescent lunge, high crescent lunge. Reach your arms over your head. Bend your right knee a little more. Ease into the shape. Knit your ribs together, really activate through your core. We're gonna do a drill here. So you might wanna shorten your stance just a bit to help with balance or step your feet out onto separate tracks. On your inhale, you'll lift your gaze, almost take a little back bend, and then exhale, straighten your right leg. Round your spine, bring your palms to touch in front of you, chin tucks to chest. Inhale, lift up, gaze up. Exhale, round, straighten the right knee, tap palms together. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Re-extend your arms high, bend into your right knee. And on your exhale, come back to a skandasana or a side lunge. Bend into your left knee, sit your hips back. The weight should be back in your left heel. Now your hips can stay lifted into this more shallow side lunge or sit all the way down into skandasana. Dial your right toes up towards the ceiling. Lift up through your chest. Take an inhale. Pause for your exhale. Gaze towards your right toes. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Flatten your left foot down. Reach your right arm up and back. Little to no weight in your left hand. Notice the space through your left or through your right side body. And then can you bend into your right knee just a little more? Find a bit of challenge. Breathe in. Exhale. Low lunge. Bring your hands down to frame your right foot again. Crawl your right foot to the middle of your mat. Inhale to chair pose, step your left foot to meet your right, sit your hips low, extend your arms over your head. Hug your inner thighs together as if you're rolling the inseams of your pants towards the back of your space. Bring your weight back into your heels. Take a breath in. Exhale, drinking bird, sweep your hands behind you. Lift your heels away from the ground. The heel lift is always optional. You're welcome to keep your heels planted down for more stability. And then when you're ready, inhale back to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Who I'm out of breath. This is a fiery practice today. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Feel free to flow through chaturanga or just meet us back there. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a breath together. Breathe in. Open mouth, sigh it out. Come back to your crouching down dog. Inhale, bend into your knees, hover, press into your palms, gaze at your thumbs. 
and exhale, Twisted Cheetah. This time your left knee taps to your right elbow. Lift your left knee a little higher, push into your palms. Inhale, Three-Legged Dog, lengthen your left leg high. And exhale, Scorpion Dog, bend your left knee, open your hip. Press evenly through both hands. Curl your left heel towards your right glute. Take an inhale. Exhale, flip over, hover your hips away from the ground. Keep your right arm planted. On your breath in, wild thing, press down to lift your hips. Sweep your left arm behind you, lift your gaze up and back, but avoid crunching through the back of your neck. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your left hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, re-extend your left leg behind you. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Now let's give just as much time and space to this side as we did the other. Check in that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Lift up more through your right toes, or your right heel rather, right heel lifts. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Pull your chest away from your thighs. Stack your shoulders over your hips. And then feel free to step your feet out onto separate tracks or maybe shorten your stance to help with stability for our drill. On your inhale, take a little back bend, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, round, bring your palms together to touch, straighten your left knee. Inhale, lift up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, round and press palms together. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time here, inhale, lift. Exhale, press, straighten. Inhale to high crescent lunge. Exhale, open your hips out, carry the energy back to Skandasana, bend into your right knee, maybe come into a shallow lunge or bend all the way down. The weight stays back in your heel. Dial your left toes up towards the sky or the ceiling. Keep your chest tall here. Keep breathing, gaze at your left foot. Inhale, bend into your left knee, reverse warrior. Sweep your arms up and back. Get long through your left side body. Relax your shoulders, lift your gaze up towards your left hand if it's comfortable on your neck. From here, take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, bring the hands to frame the left foot. Your back heel lifts up. Inhale, hop your feet together, chair pose. Utkatasana. Arrive here, make sure you're fully in chair. Weight is back in your heels, chest is lifted. Inhale, exhale, drinking bird, sweep your hands back. Lift your heels away from the ground. We hold it for three, two, maybe sit lower. One, inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow it out, chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna take this breath to movement. So follow your pace of breath. It's a little bit funky with the transition, so give yourself grace. If you're like, how the heck did we get here? All good, I've definitely been there before. Sometimes I don't even know, so. Uh, but take up space in your transitions. Become aware of where your arms are in space. Make them big, make them proud. Inhale, crouching down dog, bend into your knees. Lean your hips back. Exhale, twisted cheetah, right knee taps to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your right leg. Exhale, scorpion dog. On your inhale, slowly flip. Exhale, land. Inhale, wild thing, lift your hips high, sweep your right arm back. Exhale, plant the right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg re-extends. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. One tap, exhale, straighten the right knee, tap your hands together. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, skandasana, bend your left knee, sit low. Inhale, reverse warrior, crawl forward, reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, your high to low or downward facing dog. Inhale, upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, crouching down dog. Exhale, twisted cheetah. Left knee taps, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend and open. On your inhale, start to flip. Exhale, plant. Inhale, wild thing. Circle, sweep up and around. Lift your chest. Exhale, plant your left hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step together or step it forward. Find crescent, lift up. Exhale, press and round. Straighten your left leg. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, skandasana. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Hands frame the left foot. Inhale, chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Personally, I'm gonna skip it. You choose. If you chose to flow, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's flow this one more time, just a little quicker to really build up some heat. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, right knee taps, twisted cheetah. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip over. Inhale, wild thing, lift your hips. Exhale, plant your right hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. You are killing it, I know, I know that. Inhale, crescent lunge, even though I can't see you. Exhale, straighten your right leg and press palms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach it back. Exhale, low lunge, right foot is forward. Chair, breathe in. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop or skip it. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, cheetah, twisted, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip over. Inhale, wild thing, lift your hips. Exhale, plant your left hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge. Exhale, round, straighten. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, skandasana, side lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Pause. Maybe you close your eyes to challenge your balance. Maybe you find one thing to look at to set your gaze upon and zoom in on it. Zoom in on it, whatever it is. Say hello thing, maybe I've never noticed before, maybe I've never paid attention to before. And then zoom back out, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Listen for the change here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, round and curl. Curl your knees into your chest. Bring your hands around your shins if you'd like to challenge your balance. And then tuck your chin into your chest. It's a little wobbly sometimes. So you can always tent your hands off to the side like I'm doing right now. Where can you soften? Maybe your shoulders, your jaw, maybe your neck. Put your hands in front of you. Bring your knees down to the ground, tabletop. Inhale to cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat, press into your palms, round your spine, dome your back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more round. 
Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Flip your toes. Keep your knees low. Set your hips back over your heels. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly lift your knees and your hips. Downward facing dog. Let's take a cleansing breath together. Breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let it go. All right. Find crouching down dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, twisted cheetah. Right knee taps to left elbow. This time, inhale, fallen star. Let your right leg to the left side of your mat. Lift your left arm over your head. Some people call this revolved side plank. So your right hand is planted. Your right leg is extended off to the left side of your mat and your left arm is extending towards the sky. We hold for a breath in. Exhale, lower your left hand to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, flip over to a seated position. So your right foot plants, your left leg stays extended. Get long through your spine, bring your right hand behind you, inhale. Exhale, hook your left elbow onto your right knee, twist your spine towards the right. Take a few rounds of breath here. I love finding balance between soften and strengthening. I've spoke to this before, I think, in some of the other um, sequences that we filmed for this channel, but it's really powerful because then you can bring it off your mat. You can, um, in a really busy day where you're putting out a lot of like fire, a lot of effort, a lot of hustle, a lot of bustle, as you start to f uh, factor in or implement more like stretchy poses in between the fiery poses of your yoga practice then you start to realize off of your mat man i've just been running around today i'm going to make in make a commitment to just slow it down a little bit for five minutes for two minutes for one minute from your twist start to unwind so bring your left hand down then right inhale three-legged dog lift your right leg high Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Inhale to high crescent lunge, lift your chest. Exhale, modified pyramid, fold over your right leg. Tuck your chin to your chest and modified simply means the back heel is lifted. If you'd like to take full pyramid, you can flatten your left toes down, face your left toes out to a diagonal and lift up through your right hip press your left hip forward and down notice the space behind your right leg on the back of your right leg notice the decompression of your spine here widen your feet bring your left toes to face the left side of your mat inhale warrior two virabhadrasana two open your hips Rise up, T out your arms, pause here. From your warrior two, we'll take a breath in and exhale, side angle, bring your right elbow down, lift your left arm high. So this transition to half moon kind of takes the momentum out of it. Go ahead and crawl your left foot in slightly, press more weight into your right foot. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, kick off of your back foot. Bring your right fingertips to hover or plant out in front of your right toes and extend your left arm overhead. Press your left foot back as if there's a wall behind you holding you up. Maybe there is, feel free to use it. From your half moon, we take one more inhale. Exhale, land. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your right knee. Reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your space. Bend into your left knee. This time, sit your hips down. <sighs> and you can crawl your left foot to be towards the inside of your right leg. For Janya Shashasana, seated forehead to knee or seated tree pose. Inhale, extend your arms over your head. Exhale, fold over your right leg.
zoom back in. Maybe you pick out four things that you can hear around you. Lift up through your chest. And go ahead and replant your left foot down. Skandasana. Crawl it forward to low lunge. Bring your hands to frame your right foot. We're taking it to stork pose or one-legged tadasana. So press into your right foot. Lift up through your fingertips. Inhale. Stand up. Lift your left knee into your chest. Extend your arms over your head. Exhale, standing figure four. Bring your left ankle to your right quad. Sit your hips low. Plant down through your right foot's big toe to help you balance. Now you're welcome to stay right here. You can fold forward or take an open arm twist. Bring your left forearm to the inside arch of your left foot. Lengthen your right arm overhead. Challenge to keep your hips squared forward as if they're headlights on a car. So right hip continues to draw back. Your left hip pulls forward. If you fold it or twist it, come back through center. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Re-extend. Exhale, plant your left foot down. Drop your arms at your sides. Shake your hands out. Shrug your shoulders. Bend into your knees a few times. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, option to try crow pose. Sit your hips low. Keep your knees lifted into your chest. Plant your hands about a foot in front of your feet. Bend your elbows and knock your knees onto your triceps. So think low plank or chaturanga arms. Push, push, push into your hands. Maybe your feet start to lift away from the ground. We hold it for three, two, one. Feel free to hop it back to low plank. Or meet us in down dog. Inhale, upward facing if you flow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in through your nose. Heavy breath out. <sighs> Inhale, crouching down dog. Bend your knees. Exhale, twisted cheetah. Left knee to right elbow. This time, inhale. Fall in star or revolve side plank. Keep your left hand planted. Extend your left leg off to the right side of your mat. Lift your right arm overhead. Grip the mat with your left hand. Maybe you lift your gaze, press your hip points forward and up. Inhale. Exhale, plant down through your right hand. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift. Exhale, bend the left knee, open your hip, sit all the way down to a seat. So this time your right leg is extended long. Left knee is bent into your chest. Hello, mosquito, I don't need you right now. Bring your left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen your right arm high. Exhale, twist over your left leg. Hmm. Press your chest towards your left thigh. Notice, maybe you can twist a little deeper with every exhale. Again, adding this stretch, this moment of stillness into the busy, fiery practice. What a beautiful synonym. No, that's not the word. Simile? Metaphor? After your twist, plant your hands over to the right side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up high, crescent lunge. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Modified or full pyramid pose. And my dear friend, Katie, who also has a few classes on your daily sadhana, always says to seek to match the sensation, not the way the pose looks on both sides. So this left side, it's probably way different than your right. That is not your fault. That does not mean that you have to force yourself into the same exact looking pose of the right side. Let the left side take up space. 
Give the left side some time. Maybe this time your right heel stays lifted and your toes continue to face forward. Maybe you're more open on the left side and you shorten your stance a bit more. Let's take one more breath here. Point your right toes to face the right side of your mat. Inhale, warrior two, open out, arrive, continue to breathe. And then take an inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, side angle, left elbow down, right arm lifts. If you think about this shape compared to half moon, it's virtually the same shape except one leg is lifted. So try and keep the length in your upper body. Crawl your right foot in slightly. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, kick off of your back leg. Bring your left hand in front of your left toes. Lengthen your right arm high. Press your right foot back towards the back wall. We hold and breathe for three, two, one. Land lightly. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up and back. And exhale to the front, then the back. Skandasana, side lunge. Again, lower down to a seated position. Tuck your right foot into your left inner thigh. For seated tree pose, down your shoshasana. Scooch forward onto your sits bones. Inhale, extend your arms over your head. Exhale, fold over your left leg. A few rounds of breath. Like sometimes, if we, if we forget to pause, if we forget to slow down, to soften, we don't realize how drained or tired we are. We become kind of just like running on empty as they say like right now when I pause I notice who my heart is pounding the sweat is dripping like bask in that effort bask in that effort and the only way we can do that is if we slow it down is if we take the time to notice to zoom in to the strength to the fire to the accomplishments start to lift up through your chest replant your right foot down Gracefully or not, crawl forward to Skandasana and then bring your hands to the top of your mat. Low lunge at the front of your space. Get light through your fingertips, lift your chest. Inhale, stork pose or one legged Tadasana. This time your right knee lifts up, extend your arms over your head. Exhale, figure four, bring your right ankle onto your left quad, sit your hips back and down. Maybe you fold or maybe you twist. If you're twisting, bring your right forearm to the inside of your right foot. Lift your left arm high. Anchor into your left, or your right foot rather, to twist a little deeper. Come back through center. Inhale, lift your right knee into your chest. Exhale, settle the right foot to meet the left. Shake it out, swing your arms around. Take some movement here. Take some size. <sighs> and inhale, reach high, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down to a seat. And find your back ease your way down onto your back and just so you know we will be sitting back up in a moment um, but not for long and I promise it'll it'll be worth it it'll feel good so once you're on your back walk your heels in towards your hips plant your hands down by your sides inhale bridge pose set the bandhasana lift your hips think of your hip points again those little points there that are like headlights on a car seek to lift them a little higher press down through your feet to really activate through your quads your hamstrings your glutes we stay lifted here for three two one lower your hips back down pelvic tilt seal your low back into the mat point your hip points up towards your chest your ribs and then once again, inhale, bridge pose, lift up. Exhale, lower, pelvic tilt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. 
hug your knees into your chest, grab for the backs of your knees, rock and roll the length of your spine back and forth a few times, come up to a seated position. From your seat, we'll find 90-90 or deer pose. So bring your right shin parallel to the top of your mat, bring your left shin parallel to the long edge of your mat. Now your hips are off to the right side rather than trying to keep them in the center just like we would for half pigeon. And here in this shape, you can find some really tiny micro adjustments. Um, you can focus on pressing down through the inside arch of your left foot. Maybe press down through your knee or press your right knee down into the mat. If you're craving a little more sensation, you can fold forward over your right leg. Three rounds of breath here. After your third round, don't cut yourself short now. Lift your hips, or lift your chest rather. Bring your hands behind you so you're facing the left side of your mat. And then lift your knees through center, inhale. Exhale, dip your knees over to the other side. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, back over to the other side. One more time, come through center. And then we'll meet in 90-90 towards the back of your mat. So this time your left shin is forward, right leg is parallel to the side of your mat. Adjust your hips, find the little micro adjustments, and maybe you fold forward over your left leg. Soften your shoulders down away from your ears. Soften your jaw, round your chin towards your chest. I think what's really cool about that sensory meditation that we did at the beginning of class, for the record, I um, heard that during a corporate training, which I was really impressed by at my, at my corporate job, they were speaking to regulating your nervous system and helping to um, calm things down. So we did that meditation, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 meditation, and it was so powerful for me because it helped me realize that I can zoom in by paying attention to what's happening around me. Like... That feeling of everything else falling away comes from me acknowledging like there's a lot going on around me, right? There's a lot of things happening. I'm seeing, I'm hearing, I'm feeling, I'm smelling, I'm tasting. They all come back to my experience and being present in my body to be able to notice, present in my mind to be able to notice. One more round of breath here. And press up, lift up, bring your hands behind you. Windshield wiper it back and forth a few more times. This time, if you want to bring your hands to your heart, you can. Whew, you might scooch forward a bit on your mat, but that's okay because we're taking up space today, aren't we? Land at the back of your mat. Bring your hands in front of you and swing your legs around. So you're facing in the other direction. Lower down onto your back. Once you're on your back, Supine twist to the right, draw your right knee, or supine twist to the left, draw your right knee into your chest, take a breath in, exhale, twist to the left, bring your right knee over to the left side of your mat, tee out your right arm, maybe gaze past your right shoulder. Draw your knees back through center, give yourself a little squeeze right in the middle, Keep your left knee in this time, inhale, exhale, supine twist over to the right, cross your left knee over, gaze past your left shoulder. Notice what your hands are doing, are they holding, are they gripping? If so, relax them. Separate your top teeth from your bottom teeth to relax your jaw. Come back through center. Take legs up the wall. If you have a wall nearby, please feel free to scooch up to it and lift your feet up against the wall so you have that support. If not, bring your hands underneath your sacrum for a little help, a little assistance. 
to lift your feet above your hips. And once you're there, bend your right knee, let your right quad cave into your belly and straighten it out. Bend your left knee, let the left knee cave into your chest. Lift your left leg, shake your legs around, little tiny movements. And then slowly, slowly, separate your hands out from underneath you. If you're up against the wall, you can stay. Otherwise, Shavasana. Shavasana, your final rest, whatever shape allows you to fully just pause, to fully just let go and exist in this space. I am like the first one that will skip a Shavasana in an at-home practice. I hate to admit it, but it's the truth. I'm thinking like, you know, the hard part's over. The, the workout part, the movement part is over. And I don't need to do Shavasana, but yes, I do. That is me lying to myself, friends. I, I need this moment, this little tiny pause in the grand scheme of things the two minutes the five minutes it's not going to make a huge difference to just lay to just be notice the weight of your body up against the ground let go of any specific type of breathing let's do a full body scan starting at top of your head, separate your eyebrows, your, your ears become heavy, separate your top teeth from your bottom teeth, maybe wiggle your bottom teeth from side to side a little bit, become aware of the weight of your shoulders, if you notice some crunching in the back of your neck, Crawl your shoulders down away from your ears. Acknowledge the softness in your hands, your fingertips. Fingertips curl in slightly towards your wrists because they're fully relaxed. How does your spine feel? Is it feeling a little tight? If so, maybe tuck your hips slightly, lengthen your heels further down. With every exhale, feel warmth seeping into your quad muscles, your hip flexors your knee joints, shin bones, calves, soles of your feet. Be still. And we can stay here and bask in this stillness. If the rest of your day has begun to call to you, start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, tune into the sounds around you, tune into the temperature on your skin. And reach your arms high behind you. Take a full body stretch. And then maybe you rock back and forth to come up to a seat or roll onto your side and then press up to a seated position. Once you've found a seated position, Sukhasana, sit tall, bring your hands together at your heart center. Acknowledge the space that you took up what you noticed, the things you became aware of, the senses that you tapped into.
and offer yourself gratitude for sticking with your practice. Bring your thumbs up to your third eye. And together we'll bow forward. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's always such a pleasure. Please um, feel free to ask any questions, um, any ideas, any suggestions that you'd like to see from my practice, my sequences. I would love to hear it. Um, and again, my name is Hannah. For the record, um, I think I keep forgetting to mention, but I use she, her pronouns. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great evening, a great morning, great afternoon, all the things. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining.